Deontay Wilder himself said that as far as networks are concerned, he's a free agent today. We are sending out an offer to uh, Deontay Wilder, which will also go to his manager, Shelly Finkel, and his advisor, Al Heyman, uh, making this offer, uh, which is a tremendous one, uh, to do the fight between uh, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. The public deserves to see the best fights. And if promoters can't work together to present the best fights, shame on the promoters. Welcome to another edition of IMO Sports with Pedro Justice. Breaking news, breaking news. Did Bob Arum just say that he is willing to give Deontay Wilder a tremendous offer for the rematch with Tyson Fury? Tremendous? When I think of tremendous, I'm thinking he knows that Deontay Wilder is not contractually obligated to any network right now. And so that means that at minimum, he will definitely offer Deontay Wilder a two-fight deal with ESPN. I'm To get Deontay Wilder's attention to say yes, I'm pretty sure it has to be between 40 and $50 million for a two-fight deal and the rematch with Tyson Fury. That is my guesstimation because... Deontay Wilder is a free agent. He loves being a free agent. Deontay Wilder makes money outside of boxing. Al Heyman is a financial advisor. So their money is invested in things. So just because you see a reported purse of $2 million, $3 million, four, five million, you think that's all the money he has? So when you're joking about a person making millions but not making tens of millions, you don't know what's going on outside of of their uh, sport that they're doing. But that's beside the point. In order for Deontay Wilder to accept this offer that I believe it will be, it has to be at least 40 to 50 million for a two fight deal with ESPN, which means as fans, we would get Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury next in May. But as a businessman for Bob Arum, it would mean we would get a tune-up fight first for both fighters, and then the rematch in September. Let me know what you think. Until next time, it's Pedro Justice.